One in five Native Americans suffer from diabetes, but can your diet prevent and even reverse the illness? Well, joining us today is chef and author Lois Ellen Frank, who is of Kiowa ancestry. And welcome, Lois. So happy to have you. It's nice to be here. And you've made our kitchen, by the way, look so beautiful. Oh, good. Thank you for that. You've just decorated it and just brought so much flavor to it without even tasting anything yet. And I want to talk about what I just mentioned because type 2 diabetes is so prevalent in Native Americans. Why? Well, it goes historically back to deviating from the traditional diet. We call okay. it an ancestral diet. So if we go back in history, we see all these amazing ingredients. Okay. And during the government issue period, things were issued to Native people and they deviated from their traditional diet. Wow. So they, yeah, they went off track they from off what track. their bodies were meant to right. have. And so I want to talk about food for life cooking and eating to beat diabetes program because the fact that you can even reverse the bad things that could happen to your body is just startling to me. So tell me how this all works. Well, we're going to do two recipes today. Okay. We're going to do one, which is uh, the same dough that you would use to make fry bread. Okay. Only we're going to make what's called no fry bread. Oh, I like that No idea. fry bread okay. is actually the dough. And I'm going to roll it out. We're okay. going to cook it on this grill. And then second to top on top of that, uh -huh. we're going to do corn, beans, and squash, oh. also called the Three Sisters. And mm. this is an ancestral food, very healthy, very low in fat. Okay. It's got fiber. It's got ingredients. And I'm going to top it off with famous <laughs> New Mexico green oh. chili. She saw my face. She knows I saw that green chili. My eye went right to it. And I think it's so interesting that you can make things that are delicious, that people will love, but that actually will have benefits to their body. And that's really the whole key, isn't it, Lois? Correct. And this plant-based diet, we've been working with Native American diabetics in both Albuquerque, Indian Pueblo Cultural Center, okay. and IAIA in mm. Santa Fe. Great. And with diet alone, uh -huh. what these doctors advocate, with the, what we call the power plate, okay? okay. This is right here on this. It's vegetables, okay. fruits, legumes, and grains yeah. that you can actually reverse type 2 diabetes with diet alone. That's amazing. Just diet. So now what's the name? Okay, so the bo is there an actual book that people should read? Well, we don't have a book yet. That's on you the... You need one. We need a book. <laughs> That's coming. That's coming. But in the meantime, they can get this information? Yes. By going it's to the uh, www.powerplate.org. Okay, good. And it talks about the recipes. We share the recipes that I teach. Great. Um, and it looks like you're using really fresh ingredients, too. Yes. And that's what I love to see. That's one of the things I've loved the most about New Mexico, are just the ingredients, the resources of the products. And just it's just, it, it's why I got addicted to it. Well, and we're also right in the beginning of, of perfect season. We're at the height of the season. Yeah. But you can also do this with frozen, canned, or oh, dried things off season. Great. So you can make this in the middle of winter. So this is all year long? All year long. Okay, so now rolling out the dough. Okay. I mean, obviously you're way better at that than I could ever be. Well, That's like I'll the most let you perfect try shape. if you want to try. So I'm putting it on a flame. This is a, a grill. This is the same grill that we use to roast chilies. Oh, okay. It's just been designed into oh, cool. a flat top. And what you're going to see is it's going to start to puff. Mm -hmm. Just like as if it were being fried. And the kids, we do kids camp, and they love it. Because they say, great. it's puffing, it's puffing, it's puffing. And you're going to see it start to oh, puff, yeah. just like if, if it were being fried. There it goes, there it goes. I love that. You see the little bubbles. Bubbles. Just like, and then, as soon as it gets about to that point, we're going to uh -huh. turn it over. It's going to oh. have a nice grill mark. Mm -hmm. And we're going to end up with a beautiful piece of no fried bread. See, and that's, no, no fry means guilt free. Yes. And I like that. Yes. And now you just mentioned classes. Tell me a little bit about the classes and programs you teach. We're I doing uh, both. Uh, we did an eight week and we're doing a six week right now. We're in the okay. middle of the class and great. we do everything from low fat tamales mm. to um, the three sisters. We do a green chili stew. We do a red chili stew. We do pozole stew. Oh, yum. Um, Tons I love that. Of local oh, New Mexico. Now there it's like pocketing, it huh? It's almost like a sopa bee. That's <gasps> a perfect bread. Wow. I love that. So that's your indication is when that's it bubbles and then it puffs. Yes. So now you just, and how, and we generally, I mean, is there, because we're talking about guilt free, is there a general rule about how much of it you can eat? Because I know portion is always an issue as well. No. Actually, on this really? diet, there is no portion control. So Hallelujah. it's totally guilt free. I'll do one love more that. and then we're going to saute. Okay, this do makes me really happy. Do you want to watch this while I... Yeah, please. Let's yeah, you do there. Places. We'll switch spots. Now, I'll the watch thing it. you have to remember is that because this is low fat for diabetics, uh -huh. we're using no oil. Because oh. oil, even if it's a good oil, it has fat. Sure. So I have a secret ingredient, and they've sort of deemed me the queen of this. Oh, I'm it's excited. It's bean juice. 
bean juice. So I'm gonna take a little bean juice and wow. I'm gonna use that in place of olive oil to saute my onions. Wow. And the reason I do this, so I just make a crock pot, fill it up, here are my cooked beans that I cooked last night, and, and then this, this right? bean juice is now what we're using in place of the olive oil. That is a really cool trick. I would have never thought of that. Never. Okay, I'm flipping it, is that right? Yes. Oh, I got it a little too done. I let it bubble too much. That's okay. Uh, I'm learning, I'm learning. But okay, but I'm getting try the idea. Do you roll out one while I do this? Yes, please. Okay. Okay, so now should I just, I wait for it to pop yeah, it up a little bit. let's wait for it to... Now you just put the onions in there. I put onions okay. and garlic. Mm, and favorite. then we're going to add our zucchini. We're going to saute that. You can see right here it's cooking. And this bean juice is acting like olive oil. That's so amazing. So there's no fat. You've got nutrients, protein, has a little bit of starch. It's actually really a perfect way to make a low-fat meal. That is such a good trick, Lois. And okay. I bet there are so many Take parents that out off. there. Oh! Okay. I burned so it a little. I like mine a little oh. less done. But that's Me okay. too. <laughs> well, we'll give that. Maybe the dog will still want it. I messed that one up. It's good. <laughs> All right. So we're going to take a dough. You're going to okay. take it with your fingers, and then I like to dip it in the flour oh, yeah. here. Get okay, it take your rolling pin. You can use either this kind. I like what, this is the French kind. Okay. Roll it out. Good. Turn it over. This is okay. now a whole wheat one, so we can use oh. whole wheat or... The white Great flour. option. Great yeah. options. Okay, I need to roll it up more. And now over there, you've got the onions and the garlic, yes. and then you're going to add your zucchini. We're going to add our zucchini. Okay. Perfect. It smells amazing in here, by the way. May I say? Okay. This is so great. You see, I mean, I love to hear this because, as I mentioned, I mean, with it being such an epidemic, so many people suffering oh, with God. diabetes, it's just, it's so wonderful to have options where people can enjoy their food. I love to hear that. That's yeah. really good news. This is fun. Oh, you're doing and your first one. I'm very Yay. proud. I'm very proud. Yes. And I also really love that you're using the bean juice instead of olive oil. I think that's a great it's trick amazing. and tip. And I also use pasole. Mm. So when I make pasole, I take the pasole juice and I can do the same thing. I can oh. saute onions. I can saute garlic. And that juice has the delicious flavor of mm -hmm. the corn or the beans and absolutely no fat. Oh, so it's love perfect this. for I diabetics. Love it. And while you continue to do that, I want to let everybody know more information on how they can find you so that they can reach you and get in touch and get all these great ideas. Well, I'm working with... Um, uh, PCRM, okay. uh, the Food for Life Cooking and Eating to Beat Diabetes class, right. and it's at the Indian Pueblo Cultural Center. Uh, we teach classes on Tuesday night from 6 to 8 p.m. Fun. Uh, we're doing a class right now, and then we also will be doing another one in the fall. Great. Um, so we have July 26 coming up. Uh, we're doing a grocery store tour so we can teach people how to make... And, and, and learn about foods that Ooh, they may not know. Love then we're that. doing stocking up, freezing, canning, drying, and then we're going to holiday and feast days. That's my most favorite menu of all because we get to look at some of the things that we can make for feast days yeah. or for festivals or ceremonies oh, or fun. any of the holidays and low fat, no cheese, no dairy, no meat, and totally healthy. And it's what you're saying is exactly the times where people really need to know what's the best thing because that's where we all cheat. Right. So we don't want to cheat during those times and now we have the option to we learn the best We do way. a bread pudding <gasps> with no cheese and no sugar, with dried fruit, and we use a little bit of agave. Ooh. And it's so good. It's amazing. Oh, I want it. You have to come back and talk about that it, in the meantime. And we do it with a peach sauce. It's just ground up peaches. It's so good. You're, you're really making me very hungry. I this know. is not fair. Right. So okay, the next thing... Well, what we'll do is we'll go back to break okay. and then we'll come back and we'll finish it up. Perfect. And if you want today's recipe, all you need to do is log on to casa.com. We'll be right back. And we're having fun. I'm still rolling out the dough, of course, with Lois here in the kitchen. Kristen has joined us now, and we have a beautiful finished plate that is absolutely spectacular. So this is done. What you can see is corn, beans, and squash. Yes. I actually used these beans called the Anasazi beans. It's the Anasazi? oldest bean, oldest bean in New Mexico. Ooh. Uh, Anasazi would be the ancestors or the ancient ones. Mm -hmm. But you could Love use that. pinto. You could use tepary beans. You could use any kind of bean. All right. So we have the corn, beans, and squash. What I've done here uh -huh. is top your bread. This is actually one of yours oh, with the mixture okay. and added some New Mexico green chili. Mm. And then you can eat it like a taco <gasps> or you could also eat it. I'm going to take one of your delicious breads. We can okay. put that on the side. Okay. We could also plate it like this where we put a little of this mixture. Oh, yeah, like on the side. On the side. I and like then that idea too. just garnish with a little green chili. Can we taste? Mm. Absolutely. It's perfect. Here, Kristen, I'll give you a fork too. Okay. Awesome. 
And we want to thank all of today's guests, as well as Lois, of course. Thank you all so much for being here today. And if you have anything you want to know about today's show, just log on to our website at casa.com. And lots of fun next week on New Mexico Style at Celebrity Central. We're talking to Juliana Ranzig and Ronnie Millsap. That's right. I can't wait for that. Yeah. And on Wednesday, we kick off pop news with New Mexico Style with TMZ. And we'll introduce you to a few of ABQ The Mag's hottest singles. Ooh, that'll be fun. Yeah, and we're feeling the burn with our favorite personal trainer, Karen Von Ols. Lots of fun. We're going to need it after we eat all this. Huh? Oh but this God. isn't too bad. This is pretty healthy, right? Ooh. Oh, yes. So. Oh, boy. Oh boy. The green, chili this, the green chili. Amazing. Oh, I'm so glad you guys like mm. it. Oh my so god. So she's gonna eat hers like I a am. taco. Wait, you gotta hug for that. No. That is delicious. Is that fun? Oh my gosh. So I have to have the, the bread. Tray. Yeah, the key is healthy, low fat. Easy, took seconds to make, and absolutely delicious. That's Love the it. way to do Amazing. it. Try it this weekend, everybody, and have a great weekend. Be safe, be happy, and thanks for joining us. We'll see you Monday morning right here at 8 a.m. Ooh, I'm good job with the bread. Thank you. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Work done.